got Ernie. Do you remember that time that she did a concert? With yeah, it was a live album at the Fillmore. Aretha. Fillmore. Yeah. It turned out to be a hit. Yes, it was. D nice. Let's go. Room. Clap it up. <laughs> Ladies, put your hands together. Isley Brothers and the Elements of Earth, Wind, and Fire. Doing great. Good, Phillip, fantastic. let me start with you. How are you doing? What you did for us back there, backstage, yeah. was like, okay, I got to give you a, another title. You a coach. You a coach <laughs> too, right? Because <laughs> you gave us the, the, the pep talk, the talk on the real tip that really just refocused this whole evening and brought a whole lot more depth and 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 purpose to it. Yeah. So we gotta say, Steve. My man. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, sir. Ralph, how you doing, man? Doing just great. Uh, blessed, highly favored, just honored to be here with Ronnie and Ernie. You know, it's gonna be a great night of music, man. Yeah. I'm so excited and honored to have you here also. Oh man, it's, this is it's one of the great pleasures of my life, man. I'm truly humbled to be sitting with y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the great bass players of any band, the only bass player I know that can play the melody of the song to that damn Verdine White. All right. <laughs> hey, all right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you. Steve, it's, uh, it's fantastic to be here with, with all of y'all. And, and uh, 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 we did a little commercial last week for this. And, you know, and, uh, uh, and I was talking about the Isaac Brothers. But, you know, I love them. You yeah. know, we got all their music. We all close. People don't know we all really close like family. Yeah. So this is really a family affair, you know, uh, that that we've been looking forward to and and uh, and the music. And I got my, you know, I know I got the list, but I got my own personal list that I like. I was talking about it this morning at the house. And, yeah, uh, man. I, I see. I don't know how y'all going. We ain't got enough time to play the hits. I know. You only get like twenty some songs a piece. That right. that don't make no. He got 28 platinum albums. Put where the camera at. Come, come here. Come, look, look at me. This man has 28 platinum albums. Shut your damn mouth. <laughs> Thank you, man. Ladies and gentlemen, Ernie Isley. Yes. Ernie, hey. Ernie, how you doing, hey, man? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm good, Steve. Uh, this is. Uh, a wonderful occasion. Uh, I got unspeakable joy right now. Yeah. To be here with my brother Ronald, to be here with the rest of my brothers in spirit, and to be with the members of Earth, Wind, and Fire. Uh, as a side note, when we were out on tour in '75, uh, you guys had out. That's the way the world. Yes. We had out. The heat is on, featuring Fight the Power. Kelly and Ronald always had the presidential suite in whatever hotel we were in. After the show, the after party, and people were surprised because when they would come in, they would hear, that's the way <laughs> of the world. And the Isley Brothers suite, it's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was normal for us. Yeah. So, you know, we love, we love them. Yeah, and that case you don't know is one of the greatest lead guitar players ever formed. We got one of the greatest, that damn Ronald Isley. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> How you feeling, Ron? I'm sitting over here thinking about my brother-in-law, Philip Billy. Yeah. Gave my son his first stroller 14 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and Verding taught me about the diapers all over again. <laughs> you know, I love these guys, man. Yeah. They were our favorite group. Yeah. Let's uh, just talk about these outfits for a minute, because, you know, I know a lot of people been talking about dressing up on this Easter Sunday, getting ready for this versus, but I knew I had to wear some Easter color to come out here and sit with these boys right here, because it's... It's so much pimp gear on this stage right now. <laughs> I'm just happy to be a part of it, man. I'm going to light my cigar, and I'm going to enjoy myself, man. Uh, this is sponsored by Ciroc. They didn't pay me to say that, but I will be looking for a check, Puffy. So just wanted to throw that out there. <laughs> you 
get nothing free for me, man. I understand the game. So, man, this is going to be great, man. It's a night of celebration, man. So we're going to kick it over to DJ Nice. And DJ Nice, do your thing. And hey, y'all, welcome to the baddest verses ever. So again, this is D Nice. We're going to start it off right now with the Isley Brothers. Is stuff about the end of the song. See, we cut 12, Verdine. That's my number one. Like I always say, if I had to listen to one song the rest of my life, what right. would it be? It's always been, that's the way of the world. How that song come about, man? Well, you know, at that time, you know, uh, just hearing Reese's voice, first of all, is... And... Uh, we worked it out two days later. Just a breakthrough record was beautiful. I, I remember my mother called and she was crying when she heard the record, you know. No, man, it's like, to, to me, it's that album, like I told the story before, I, I, I walked four miles to Cucumber Castle and bought that album for three ninety five. dollars That album, and that, I still have the albums. My daughter even gave me a brand new album, the, the actual album. I got it framed. I got a brand new one that I got. I got a turntable. I still listen to all this stuff, man. Come on, Nice. Do your thing. I don't know that. Right. I bought the album cover because of her. I can dig it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't no Instagram. If you didn't get the album cover, you didn't see no girl. <laughs> that's it, man. That's it. That's it was when we were playing colleges. And I remember when we got the record, Reese had brought the album by the hotel. We were staying at the Holiday Inn in Philadelphia. And we laid on the floor and listened to our album. And we were just really, you know, we were just gassed because that was like, it was, that was us making a record. Because making a record then was like really big, you know, making albums, man, on Columbia Records. And, and you know, we had worked on that album for like about five weeks. And, and it finally came out. And then when we heard it on the radio, remember we heard it on the radio Philadelphia? Yeah, yeah, but I'm thinking those are the days when we had the, what we call, station wagon tour, because we were driving around from point to point. And That's crazy. Wagons, Jack. That's crazy. That yeah. album had Masquerade on it. Right. Yes, it did. Can yes, Clover. Well. Yeah. Ooh. I'm doing it because I always wanted to sing with her. When <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know I ain't qualified. But I always wanted to be in Earth, Wind, and Fire. I couldn't be in the Isley Brothers. They was too damn smooth. But I wanted a cape, though, Ron. I swear to God, I wanted a cape. Come on, D-Night. got married. That was our father-daughter dance song. Be ever wonderful. Because I wanted my daughter to just stay wonderful. You know? And so that, that song meant a lot to me right there, man. So it really did. Summer breeze. Lord have mercy. <laughs> I had to put the coat on, man. I wanted to be y'all. <laughs> All these albums, man. Y'all don't understand. I went to concerts, and I dressed the theme of the concert. And I didn't always have money for a girl to go. So when y'all was at the Richfield Coliseum, and y'all came up out to TPs, when y'all came, I knew because my partner had saw y'all in Dayton. So I had my sister make me a buckskin vest. It wasn't real buckskin, it was just ultra suede. And I had the moccasins, I had the pants with the shingles on them. I had the big afro and I had a feather in it with a headband. I came to the concert like that. And all your brothers wore capes. So when I came to see the Isley Brothers, I wore a cape. Didn't have no damn money. I would buy the cheapest ticket they had, and then when the opening act got through singing, if they were I would look down on the floor to see if any flow seats was available. And then I just come down there dancing like I was already there. <laughs> and I was skinny, so they just, hey, hey, little man, come on in. And I slide on in the aisle and be just in there just grooving. And then wait, did nobody come? And then that was my seat. I bought the, I bought the $14 ticket, but I sat in the $45 chairs. Oh, I was pimping back then. So <laughs> that's a great.
Yes, that's the five thing. million thing. sync show, and uh, he was playing Pretty Tony in 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 the high tops. I had a group, me and Say, and uh, we were <laughs> we were, I was talking to Ron about uh, his hits, and I said, "Man, you sold a million albums," and at the time, it was about four billion people in the world back then, right? Mm. And I said, man, you sold a million albums. Ron said, that don't mean nothing. He said, it's four billion people in the world. What that mean is three billion, nine hundred and ninety-nine million people don't give a damn about you. <laughs> 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 this dude oh, has some moments, man. Come on, D-Nice. You know. Because that, that, that was a smash. No, I was, was going to say. Go I ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Even today. <laughs> Y'all, man, today, yes, we have to do that song. No question, but Wayne and Wanda Vaughn. Right. Yes, that's where it came from. Uh, Wanda, one of the emotions. Right. That, yes. You know, that, one, that, uh, that iconic voice, you know, like uh, you can hear them, you know, singing uh, the backgrounds yeah. on that song. Hey, man, now, you all broke the emotions, didn't you? Yeah, we definitely got to get into some of that. Man. Chicago. Yeah. Chicago. Hey, D-Nice, let's get it real sexy in here. <laughs> I wrote that song on a piece of poster board with a magic marker. I wish it. I rolled it up, tied a ribbon on it, shirt my back, right. got on my bike, rode my bike three miles to Miyoshi Jackson's house. Walked up on her porch, <laughs> rang the doorbell. Her daddy answered the door. He said, boy, what the hell you want? I said, I have Miyoshi's homework. He said, give it to me. Reached in the back, pulled out that poster board, handed it to him. At school the next day, she said, that's the sweetest thing anybody has ever done to me. I was in high school, rode a bike three miles with the words to devotion on the poster, just for a girl. Didn't have no cell phone, couldn't call it till I was coming. <laughs> great story. That's a great story. Just had to ride over there, hope somebody was home. Boy, these songs right here. If you ain't feeling this right here, man, it's because you don't have soul. See, this is soul music. This is music for the soul. Ain't nobody said nothing crazy up here. You know, you couldn't, couldn't write no lyrics that wasn't up to par. All of your music had to be lyrically correct. This, this was music, man. These cats wrote love songs, devotion. Praise the teachers that gives true love to many. What? Who the hell wrote a song about a teacher lately? No damn body. <laughs> Come on, D-Nice. How many years total has Irwin and Fire been a group? 50 now. 50. 50. 50 albums. 45. 45 albums. 45 albums. And seven Grammys. Uh, was, uh, uh, I, I was, I was, I was, I was, you the one, you did it right. You were the one that, that set it off. Kennedy sent honors Kennedy recently. Center. Yeah. Uh, how many platinums? I don't even, I don't even know. They're, they're hanging on the wall at home, you know, <laughs> at home, but I don't, you know. Y'all don't even count them. <laughs> if I get one, Everybody in the world gonna know it. I'm gonna take a full page ad out in USA Today. <laughs> if I sell a million anything, this is like great. It's this type of music, man. Because, you know, be, because it's, the verses is so short, we, we can't, we just trying to play a, a variety of what they did. We can't even, it's songs not even on this list that I'm telling you right now was flat out smokers. I'm talking about when you hear them, man, you just go, what? And we, we, we just don't have enough time to show all of the music that these dudes, that was hits. We, you can't, I, look, you only got 20 songs apiece. If you got 35 albums, what the hell? It's 14 songs on every album. W what you supposed to do? Ron, how many albums y'all think y'all got? He don't know. <laughs> nah, I'll be damned. I was thinking, if we did a... Uh, 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 a show together between all the albums and the singles and the hits, it'd be about a 10 hour show. <laughs> between I'll, all those hits. I'll be there. I'll have a depend on and be sitting right up in there. Ah, uh, depend. <laughs> oh, no. 
sit up there, I ain't, I ain't going to the bathroom. Steve, you look comfortable. Don't worry about it, I'm good. <laughs> Come on, D nice. Yes! My wife asked me, she said, Steve, when you get up, did you hear that? That was the jam. You don't understand, man. That song, I was in high school. That's the way the world. That's the way the world, right? No. Yeah, yeah. That was the first thing. That's, that's the right. way the world. Oh, I'm thinking Masquerade. Sure was. 75. I done got excited. Yeah. I walked a long way to buy that album. <laughs> I'll be damned. Yeah. Shining star for you to see. What your life? What happened to my bike? Yeah, I, I had a bike till I went to, uh, till I was a sophomore in college. My daddy gave me a car when I was a sophomore in college. All right. It was 1976, and I had a 1968 Biscayne station wagon. Yeah, hard to pick a girl up in a station wagon. Real hard, especially that belonged to a construction worker. <laughs> yeah, because it still had dirt in it that you couldn't get out the car. Oh, yeah, it smelled like oil. So I had, to, <laughs> I had to spray my car with cologne. The whole car had it. That was nice, though, man. I had some good times. I didn't have no money back then, but I had some good times, man. But You made it work. Yeah, yeah, I made it work, man. That's what you had to do. Yeah, because music, and music was so important to me because I had nothing else, you know, and I was a conversationalist. You know, back then, to talk to a girl, you had to have a conversation because okay. you, you didn't have cell phones. You couldn't DM. And so when you saw a girl, the next time you was going to talk to her was tomorrow because there was no call waiting. Call waiting came later. So if you call somebody help, it take a long time to keep calling a damn phone and it's busy. So when I saw a girl, you had to talk to the girl. See, at the club, see what they doing now in clubs, they don't play no slow music in clubs. When we was going to clubs, you could play four fast songs in a row. And then after that, we went up to the DJ booth. Hey, partner, what's, what's happening? What you think we in here for? If you don't play some slow jams, we don't get a chance to talk to these girls. We ain't in here to get sweaty. Everybody wore a suit to the club. So we needed the slow jams to be able to talk to the girls. That's right. So it wasn't, if you played four in a row, man, D nice. D nice. Paul Purdine on the phone all the time and with his bass and all the other. Right. Oh yeah. Right. Marvin, and Marvin told me about yeah. this song. Right. Yeah. Compliment. True compliment. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Especially, especially from them, from the Isaac Brothers. Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah. Right. You know, if they love your stuff, you must be doing something good because we yeah. love their stuff, you know. Can't pretend there's nothing there. Girl, I look in your eyes and see you care. Huh, well, what you talking about? You can't hide love. Damn I it, I bet, I bet you. Try it. Well. When your ass ever been in love and been able to hide it? I bet you. I bet you. Can't hide love. <laughs> Boy, I damn near tore the stage up. Woo! I'm sitting up here with Earth, Wind, and Fire, and they singing Can't Hide Love. That's right. D-Nice, you need a break. We all need a break. <laughs> I ain't even got nothing to say. You know, you sit up here, you talk. Them little young ass people get on Twitter. It's too much talking. We grown ass people. <laughs> grown ass people sit around and talk. You been over your uncle's house before? Oh. What they do? They get over there, they play cards, they play dominoes, they drink and they talk. Old people like to talk. Well, the dance. Yeah, well, you know, whatever. Uh huh. <laughs> Man, I, you know, I'm, I'm about some young people. Yeah. Hell with all them old people. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm, I'm 79 myself. And sexy. Boy, look at you. Great. Boy, you, boy. 79. Look at you. Yeah. And she still does too. Yeah, great. Well, you know 10 more years, Philip. You're going to be just like me. <laughs> <laughs> really? Right. Hey, really? man, right. old is the goal. I can dig You it. know, people tell my man, you, you done got old. Old is the goal. It's a blessing. I, it's I a tell blessing. you what. Stop getting old, see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Birthdays are important, man. We here celebrating two of the greatest groups of all time with smoking hits. This has just been like, man, this is nice for me, man. I was, uh, I was with Ron Isley because they, they telling me, in case y'all want to type something with your little thumbs and stuff, 
they told me to take this break right here. I could just keep playing these hits, because they got hit. They're not going to run out of music. They, we, they had to pick 20-some songs. 25. And how you pick 25 songs? You got 28 platinum albums. Just, just pick them. Just pick them. Oh, Stop yeah. You're just a little friendly-ass <laughs> dude, ain't you, Ron? <laughs> Man. We're we going to make some more. We're going to do it again. Me and Philip and Earth 25, we're going to do a new record for 2021. Come on, man. Give me oh, a cold collaboration. Oh, we're working on it now. Hey, man, can I just come? We're working on it now. To the studio. Steve. There it is. I just want to be in the studio. But I want to wear a whole Earth, Wind & Fire outfit. I didn't suppose to tell that right now. So, yeah, you know, that was supposed to be a surprise. But we're working on it now. This is the internet. Ain't no surprises on the internet. They'll make up a lie about your ass on the internet. <laughs> They got plenty of surprises. You ain't got to worry about letting that now. We all good, man. This is great, man. I'm enjoying this, man. I, I thank y'all from the bottom of my heart for inviting me for Swiss to giving me a call and asking me to do this, man. I mean, I was joking about it in the beginning. I ought to go down there, but I didn't really put no stock behind it, man. But this is such an honor for me, we man. We wouldn't I mean, have nobody else but you. No, Don't right. you forget you, it. You were Don't supposed you to do it. this. Don't you forget it. Damn, bro. All right. <laughs> Guess I can't forget it there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.